Redneck 007. Y'all know who I am. Well, most of you do. Looks like it's going to rain here in Tennessee. And uh, I just wanted to say a quick few things that, you know, if you're not happy in your life and feel like you're just spinning your wheels and all that, change it up, you know, change something you're doing, change the mentality, the way you think or perceive things, you know, there, there's always room for change, and uh, people always remember that the little ones, you know, the kids, the adolescents, that's our future, that's who we're going to have to depend on as the time goes by. So, uh, yeah, what are we going to do about that? You know, America's gotten soft. I've been talking to special force operators, rangers. I mean, hell, I, the old army bros I served with. What are we going to do? We're in dire times. And you know, we shouldn't be feuding amongst ourselves, amongst like-minded individuals who uh, know the meaning and value of morals and respect, dignity. You know, these children are going to be our leaders one day. Hopefully, hopefully that day comes. So, what have you done today to make the future bright again? Yeah, Donald Trump this, Donald Trump that. That's all great and everything. But, it only goes so far. It starts at home. It starts with uh, teaching your children, of course, right from wrong. Teaching your children that uh, where where'd history go, you know, our history is being torn down, taken away, you know, who put this uh, abolishment on U.S. history? It's sad people, but uh. I gotta get to the gym. I was gonna, I wasn't even really gonna make a video today. Look at that. It's not just, that's just not Tennessee uh, Eastman pollution either. But, we gotta start doing things different, better. I don't want this to be all doom and gloom. So, uh, you know. I want to thank the troops for their service, men and women in uniform, and apparently today's Military Appreciation Day, so I had to, I had to make something to uh, say that I appreciate men and women who fight for my freedom as I fought to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I got jacked up from doing it. But you know what? Hindsight's 2020. I'd do it all over again and expect the same results. <laughs> Exults. I was going to say outcome, but same results. But what I would not give to go back in and finish a legacy that I started. Cool. So, I always remember, hey, if you're looking down and things are like doom and gloom, and feel like you know your life's just stagnated. And you are spinning your wheels. Look up to the heavens and make a shout out, and I promise you, things will change. So, if you ain't checked out RedneckNationGear.com, and go check out Hillbillies Inc. JJ Moore. Pissed off redneck. Save you some money on some awesome gear. This has been Redneck 007. Y'all know I don't like long videos, so I'm going to conclude with this.
If you haven't picked up your Bible today, made a few rounds, read some parables, read a little bit of scripture, try to put them parables to use in your daily life, then you might be the problem. It does start within yourself, but you got to look up to be looking forward to the future. Because Jesus, he's going to come one of these days. He's going to come. I have faith. He can't come soon enough, in my opinion. So I always remember, if you're going to call me, don't call me in the morning because I'm not a morning person. But I would be. The military let me back in. Y'all stay safe this weekend. This is y'all safety briefing. Don't drink and drive because it might not be the life that you take would be just yours. Pretty sure it's called vehicular homicide, and it carries a pretty stiff sentence. Um, hey, wrap it up. You know, if you're out here fornicating and being promiscuous, though Prometheus, and uh, yeah, do something. Do do one thing that betters somebody else's life. Or makes them smile and I promise you you will feel it somewhere right in here general mid torso where you lay down an enemy double tap two in the chest one in the head make sure they're dead yeah I got a lot of them so redneck 007 loves y'all I thank everybody for my support thank everybody for the prayers and I thank the Backwoods Nation family that something larger than all of us when we get in there and congregate and talk about how up chart up chart up church oh, I can't do it sometimes how up church one not even like a rap battle, but one like a, I don't even know what you call it, but the fart heard around the world. That was his diss track, to Shimonius. If y'all watch my stuff, you know who Shimonius is, and if not, it's Dylan's shotgun shame. Kinda embarrassed that cat. I tried to like his stuff, I really did. I really didn't listen to much of it because Up Church is really the only thing that comes through my speakers. Along with some old country and some classic rock. And... Let's go to Backwoods Nation. You, you, hey, you'll see when you get there. It's nothing but family. Pausing a lot and I ain't editing in one single bit because uh, I gotta get to the gym. So, Redneck 007. I hey, love y'all, thank y'all, and to the Backwoods Nation, the, the nation of bow ties, handing them out left and right, thank y'all for everything. If y'all ain't checked out We All Matter Swing or We All Matter Coon, then uh, you need to do that. I highly recommend it. I want to go to Ohio so bad and meet these cats. You just don't even know how bad. So, um, yeah, didn't get no mail today. No passport, no visa. All in due time, patience is a virtue, and that is something you learn in the military. Hurry up and wait. To all the special force operators, rangers around the world, and the troops who defend our Constitution against enemies, foreign and domestic, I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all stay safe. Have a great weekend. See you once again when I make another video. I'm out. Love y'all people.